four. Read activity one again and correct the sentences about Lynn and Tom. Lynn isn't going to go to bed early on New Year's Eve. She is going to stay up late. Module 4. Let's play. 1. Listen and read. Then play. Is it a boy or a girl? It's a boy. Is he going to swim? Yes, he is. It's Chris. Yes, that's right. Module 4. Project 1. What's Sabrina's special day? Listen and read. English Dear Diary, I'm very happy. Tomorrow is a very special day. It's the 21st of June, my birthday. I'm going to have a party. All my friends are going to come to my house. We're going to play and dance. I'm going to decorate the house and Mum is going to make sandwiches for us. Dad is going to make me a chocolate cake. We're going to have so much fun. I'm going to write again tomorrow. Bye for now, Sabrina. Module 4. Story time. Prince Nebby's Ring. Part 2. 1. Where is Prince Nebby's Ring? Listen and read. Selva is at home and he's talking to his father. His father is a police officer. How was your trip to the museum, Selva? asks his father. Oh, it was great. We saw a mummy. His name was Prince Nebby. Prince Nebby? Oh, yes. We are looking for Prince Nebby's ring, says Selva's dad. I know. It's gold and it's got a big red stone, says Selva. The next day is the 31st of August. It's Independence Day. The children are going to the parade with Selva's father. Nora is dressed up as a soldier, and Selva is dressed up as a police officer. The children see a man's hat. Let's give it back to him, says Nora. The man sees Selva's father and the children running. He puts his arms up. Look, Dad, he's wearing Prince Nebby's ring, says Selva. You're right. Let's get it back, says Selva's father. Nora and Selva, you are heroes. Your picture is in the newspaper, say their classmates. Good job, children says Miss Anita. Nora and Selva are very happy. Hooray! cheer the children. Fishing rod Fishing rod Fishing rod Line, line, line. Pull, pull, pull. Think, 
Think. Think. Wool. 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 One. Read and tick the best title for the story. Listen, read, and check your answers. Omar lived with his family on a small farm. His family worked hard, but he didn't like working. One morning, Omar went to the river with his new fishing rod. He waited and waited. Then something pulled on the line. He pulled it out of the water. Ugh! What a big fish! He said. But the fish wasn't an ordinary fish. Omar caught a wishing fish. Please, please let me go, and I can make your wish come true," said the wishing fish. "What do you want?" "Wow," said Omar, and he thought about his wish. "Make all the sheep go away, so I never have to work again." "Okay." Said the wishing fish, and with that, it jumped into the water. The next day, it was very hot. It didn't rain for many days, and many sheep died because there wasn't any water. Omar's father said, "We've got no more wool to sell. We haven't got any money." Omar was very sad. This is my fault. He said, "I have to go catch the wishing fish again." Revision four, two. Listen and write T for true or F for false. It's the third of May today. It's a big day for Fiona because it's her tenth birthday. Fiona is very happy today because she is going to have a party. All her friends are going to come. In the morning. Fiona is going to go shopping with her mum. She's going to buy a new dress for her party, and they're going to buy food and drinks too. Fiona's brother and sister are going to decorate the house. Later, her mum is going to make pizzas and other food for the party. Her mum's pizza is always delicious. Fiona's dad is going to make her a big chocolate cake. He usually makes chocolate cake on special days. It's Fiona's favorite dessert. Phonics four, activity one. Listen and say. O I. Oi. Oi. Coin. Boil. O Y. Oi. Oi. Toys. 
boy. O I Oi Oi Coin Boil O Y Oi Oi Toys Boy The boys have got many toys, but they play with their coins. The boys play with coins and they make a lot of noise. Sit down, boys, play only with your toys and don't make Noise. Don't make noise. Walnut, walnut, walnut. Brain, brain, brain. Vitamin, vitamin, vitamin. Heart, heart, heart. A slice of bread, a slice of bread, a slice of bread. Activity 1. What does each food look like? Look and match. Then listen and read. How good for you are they? Walnuts look like a brain. And they are good for the brain too. Eating some walnuts every day can make your brain strong. You can add walnuts to your salad or your cereal. Cut a carrot and look at a slice. What does it look like? An eye. Carrots have got vitamin A. This vitamin is good for your eyes. You can have some carrot salad for lunch or carrot cake after lunch. See, it's easy. Cut a tomato in half. Can you see? It looks like a heart and it makes your heart healthy too. Eating a tomato every day is very good for you. Tomatoes are good for your eyes and hair too.